So today is Tuesday, so it's time for another easy Dutch oven dish. Y'all stay tuned. So uh, you guys not might not believe this, but it really is Tuesday afternoon. I just got home from work and uh, I've been trying to put together these simple dishes you can do every day or you can do camping or when you're outdoors when you don't have a lot of time. Today is going to be one of those and we're going to do some beef short ribs with some roast with some uh, veggies and it's going to be awesome. So this is our short ribs. We took that membrane off the back of them. What we're going in here with here is uh, just a regular old Montreal steak seasoning. I would use some Backwoods Gourmet Steak and Brisket Rub on these, but I just don't have any right now made. So this is a great uh, alternative. We also use this uh, in combination with our our uh, brisket rub in competition uh, because everybody loves it. And it gives a great flavor. I'm going to season those up and let them hang out for a little while while the Dutch oven is coming up to So heat. getting right into it, we have our number 12 Dutch oven, our good old log out here. We're gonna start out with a pretty ample amount of bottom heat, about 10 or 12 coals at least on the bottom. Today we're using subs, one of my favorites. Uh, to me, this is a, a, a very good balance between heat and uh, long burning. Y'all stay tuned though, we're gonna be doing some actual uh, reviews on some different kinds of charcoal coming up in the very near future. So we're just going to get our pot going on there and get it start getting preheated. So now the Dutch oven uh, season is starting to smoke on a little bit. I'm going to go in and give it about two, three tablespoons of olive oil. We'll let that come up until it's just at smoking point. All right, seeing that smoke coming up off the uh, oil there, you got a kind of, usually on short ribs, you got a meaty side and kind of a bone side. I want to put the meaty side down. We're going to just try to steer these off. See, we got a nice sizzle. But, come on. There you go. In a few minutes, go ahead and check them. Well, nice and seared, just like that. Now, if you got them big, thick ones, these weren't that thick. Then you want to go try to do this on all their sides, like like this one here, it's nice and thick. So I'm going to turn him on the side. But this one's really thin, so I'm just going to flip him over. So use your judgment on that. You want to get him as brown as good as, good as you can on all sides. The thick ones take a little longer than the thin ones. Okay, these are nice and brown now. What we're doing here with these, a classic braise. And with two cups of uh, beef bouillon, about uh, a half of a large sliced onion, just kind of spread that out in there. We're going to put the lid on, we'll leave it alone for about 30 minutes. We'll go ahead and load some coals up on top. Those coals have started to burn down a little bit. I've showed you this trick before. You can actually come back and put some unlit coals. Let's get that one back. You can drop some unlit coals right on your lit coals, and those will start right up in a little bit and keep your cook and extend your cook time from those coals. So we're gonna give them a nice uh, little ring of extra ones there and those will start up and it'll extend our cook time so our new coals are starting to catch it's been about 10 minutes 
and we're going to go ahead and uh, the water's getting a little low in there. We're going to give it about a cup of hot water. You don't want to put in cold water here if you can avoid doing that. That will uh, keep your simmer going. So everything's looking good. It needs about another 20 minutes right now. Hey, I want to take a little minute to remind you about our Amazon store. You can uh, check out the link in the first comment below. That will take you to the Backwoods Gourmet store where we have a lot of the gear that we use right here on the Backwoods Gourmet channel, including cast irons, Dutch ovens, grills, charcoal, and a whole lot more. Uh, we'd appreciate it if you go check that out. Every purchase you make over there helps support our channel, and we appreciate everybody that has done so so far. Right, total cook time about 30 minutes. You see they've already drawn up way off the bones. Here we have some uh, fresh organic carrots, some small ones, and some fingerling potatoes. Um, we're going to just throw them in there. The lid back on. And let that continue to cook for about another 10 minutes. Check on our potatoes. It's been about 25 30 minutes. You know, it's, it's nice low simmer. We'll check to make sure they're done with we'll stabbing them with the tip of a knife. Everything's done. So we're going to go ahead and gently, without you know breaking any of this up, gonna take our big spider dipper and bring this over here into a bowl. We got some uh, some aluminum foil in the bowl there so that we can kind of contain the heat. We want to keep this warm, this whole mixture warm while we're making our, our sauce. Those onions are beautifully broken up in there. And that's going to be one of the bases for a sauce. So let's get all the, uh, the large stuff out. We're going to just kind of fold the aluminum foil on it, but not tightly, so we want it to be able to vent out. We'll let this come back up to a simmer. So right now we need more bottom heat than top heat, so we're just going to go ahead and uh, start moving coals down from, from the top to the bottom, start spreading them out around the bottom side. That's that second ring that we started. You know, it's just caught nicely. So we'll just start pushing them around the edges. And then we can get that back up to a nice simmer without the lid on it. So let's come back up to a simmer. What we have here is just uh, like a two tablespoons of cornstarch dissolved in just a little bit of red wine. We're going to go ahead and just add that slowly and stir it into our broth that's in the bottom of the pan. Just so that thickens up and that's thickening up really nicely. Use a whisk for this would actually be a better tool than what I'm using right now. Okay, folks, time for the plate. Let's go in here and get some of this beautiful sauce. Give that a nice puddle 
right in the bottom of our plate there. Of course, I made a mess already with it. So I'm going to run that around. Now that we got our gravy, we're going to come in with potatoes, these beautiful uh, artisan fingerling potatoes. There, some of our carrots, and uh, just a couple of those on there. Some beautiful, beautiful mushrooms. You know, we, we made careful not to uh, overcook these guys either, so they still have plenty of texture to them. And I'm just going to grab with my finger. Beautiful braised short ribs right there. For me, all that needs is a little bit of finely uh, chopped parsley right over the plate. And maybe just a tiny dribble of that gravy right over the top of the beef ribs. Next time you go camping or just want to cook outdoors, try doing short ribs in the Dutch oven. You'll be glad you did. Thanks for watching the Backwoods Gourmet. Those short ribs were awesome. If you like what we're doing, please hit that like button right down there. To subscribe to our channel, you can do it right here. To see another great episode of the Backwoods Gourmet, it's going to be right up there. And for our whole playlist, cast iron and Dutch oven cooking, it's going to be right up there. We'll see you next time.